Hi, once again, everyone. I'm 2 News Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony here inside the Weather Center talking cooler air this week. But really, I want to go beyond this week and let's talk about the developing weather pattern that I think is going to dominate right on through the winter. There's a long way to go before we can issue the winter weather forecast, but right now, it looks like the, just the early genesis of that pattern is beginning to develop. What we've seen recently here and over the weekend and the first part of this week, wow, so warm. It was 87 Saturday, 87 on Sunday. Monday it was 82, and you can see those highs well above average. In fact, for the month, we're running four degrees above average in temperatures for the entire month of October, and the rainfall sitting at 4.72 is an inch and a half above average. But certain changes are starting to show up. Look across the northern part of the United States, southern Canada. All right, we need cold air starting to build up there, but to reinforce that cold air, oftentimes you need a snowpack. And a snowpack is trying to develop here from Billings northward up toward most of Canada. So if, if that can continue to build, then the cold air will start to intensify. And the cold air that we see out there in Billings and parts of southern uh, Canada can eventually make it down into the United States. You'll see that by Tuesday afternoon, we have a little intrusion of colder air down to about Denver, up around Minneapolis. And then as we head into the uh, overnight hours, that little bit of cooler air actually slides a little farther to the south down toward Albuquerque, even into Tulsa. So you get into that cooler air, but of course, as you heat up during the day, that retreats a little bit. But maybe what we need to look at more importantly is just the shape here of the way the temperatures are following. See this little pattern? This is pretty much the way the jet stream is going. A ridge out here to the west, so usually mark that with an H, and you've got a low out here to the east that's allowing the colder air to come down. So if you look at the jet stream now, it kind of follows that. You see what I'm talking about? You got this little ridge out here, you got this little trough here, and so the colder air can make it down into the middle Mississippi River Valley. So we put this into motion, and I want to point out this feature here. Doesn't this look like the Greek letter omega? This isn't really an omega block, but it is an omega pattern. And when we see this, this ridge here promotes warming. And so it's one of the reasons we haven't had a real chilly October day. Now, so occasionally we'll get one of these storms that'll come in here and try to bring some cooler air with it. And that might happen next Monday. But we've really been dominated by this repeated warm ridge. And so the cool air that occasionally makes it down just retreats and is pushed back up over southern Canada. And so once again, you see that ridge and that trough. And so that's why we've been so warm so far in October. But things are changing. A new weather pattern is developing right now, but it's too early to predict what it means for our winter weather pattern. We know El Nino will play a role in this. We know the Arctic Oscillation will play a role in this. And so far, to me, we've only seen this one dominant pattern, and that's been that Omega pattern. But the entire pattern is still evolving. I'm really waiting to see if a second dominant pattern takes over here in the next two to three weeks. Because sometime in the middle of November, and hopefully not the latter part of November, I hope to share with you my winter weather forecast for all of northeastern Oklahoma. And we'll do that on 2 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for stopping by KJRH.com.